Okay, Mother's Day. Um, <clears throat> first of all, is it wrong for husbands to uh, buy their wives Mother's Day presents? No, it's not wrong. But, you know, you have to honor your mother. The Bible talks about honor your father and your mother. So, if you're going to do what the Bible says on your father and your mother, Exodus chapter 20, it talks about one of the Ten Commandments. God cared enough about it to um, make it one of the great ten. <clears throat> and uh, along with the other Ten Commandments, actually these commandments are commandments of love. Um, they're easy to do if you follow what you love. You know, if you love the thing God's about, you love His Word, you do the commandments. And, <clears throat> um, you know, the Lord brought honor to His mother when He was here, when He was on the cross. He said, uh, Behold your mother, talking to those ones standing at the foot of the cross. Boys! Boys, I'm recording in here, please. Uh, so far, you've had more words on here than I have. Uh, okay, so honor your father and your mother. And, uh, uh, you know, it, you're, you're to buy your mother something, you know. Your mother, your mother in law. Your mother in law is your mother, fella. She's still your mother. So, and you should honor her as well. Um, <clears throat> there's hardly anything in the Bible about people's mother, you know, because, and I understand this too, because the mom is such a uh, icon of affection that um, if God had put a lot of stuff in here about the mother, people would actually be worshiping their mothers. I mean, people worship everything, you know. And the, the sun, the stars, the moon, the clouds, the beam field, their car, you know, truck, <laughs> tractor. <clears throat> People just worship everything. And, Whoa, and God wants to direct to our love through those uh, things that we uh, are uh, spiritual, the spiritual aspect. God wants to direct our love through those things. Now we can love a lot of different things. You can love natural things. Um, you can love the flesh. Um, <clears throat> you can love the things of the flesh. Um, you can love uh, all different kinds of people. You know. But now spiritual love is different. Spiritual love has a whole aspect on its own. It's not the same thing as. Um, loving uh, an animal yeah, object, like you know. It's not the same thing. Uh, spiritual love is a love that loves without condition. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, <coughs> God wants us to love in that fashion, to love people in that, fa in that fashion with a spiritual love, not holding one above the other. When you love spiritually, you don't hold one person above another. You know, I've seen uh, families where the parents would hold, <coughs> excuse me, one child above the rest. And in the Bible, even though it may seem like God does this type of thing, you know, <coughs> because, excuse me, that He favors some people in doing certain things, it's not that God loves a particular person any more than He loves another. It, God either loves you or He don't, you know. It's recorded in the Bible says God loved this person and He hated that person. What's well, because of who that person chose to be on the inside? And it's about, and, and a mother is like that. If she's loving her children the right way, she does not hold one above the other. <clears throat> and this love thing is Mother's Day. It's all about, it's all about love. It's all about caring. The fact that your mom gave birth to you in pain is, is the fact that she cared enough to give you life. And to, and to some mothers, they did this over and over again. 
And uh, we as children um, need to respect your moms just for no other reason, maybe unless that uh, that she cares enough to just give us life, take care of us and raise us and raise us up, and cause us to be uh, uh, responsible adults. You know, my mom didn't do a bad job with me, and. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. And Happy Mother's Day to all your other ladies out there that is uh, children. And Happy Mother's Day to you, to those who want to be mothers because, you know, even though if you're not, because um, being a mother is in your heart. There's a lot of ladies out there that are mothers that have to do with other children that direct other children and, and have never had of their own. When they get to heaven, God is going to reward you because you have cared enough to be a mother. God bless you, and we'll see you again next time. Another great message on Crossing the Middle Ministry.